A coffee grinder is safe to take precedence when you're investing in a coffee bar, whether it's at home or in a busy cafe. It makes sense as this is the very equipment that grinds coffee beans to ensure you get the cup of coffee that you want. I'm sure you've heard of flat and conical burrs, but what exactly are they? How are they different from one another and which one is best for you? Hey guys, my name is Hazim from La Marsa and today's topic will be about flat versus conical burrs. This is a very deep topic and it is not quite objective or simple to discuss but I will do my best to explain it to you so you can at least have some fundamental understanding of these two types of burrs. First and foremost, what are burrs? Burrs are the most critical part of any coffee grinder, ensuring coffee beans are uniformly grinded to perfection so you can have a delightful cup of coffee. They are made up of two abrasive surfaces, plates with teeth, that grind coffee beans in between them. Most burrs are made of hardened steel or iron cast material and ceramic for some hand grinders. The two most popular types of burrs are flat and conical. Flat burrs are basically shaped flat and they are stacked on top of each other. So when you feed your coffee beans into the hopper, it is then fed to the center of the two burrs and as they spin, they grind beans and force them out through the sides. Conical burrs are shaped like a cone. So the collar sits on top of the cone and using centrifugal force and gravity, the beans are forced downwards instead of the sides like flat burrs. So it comes out here. When you're adjusting the grind size of your grinder, you are basically changing the physical distance between the burrs. You would want your beans to be ground uniformly, or the same particle size, but that is kind of impossible to achieve. So, what are fines? They are fining grounds that are much finer than where you set your grinder. As the beans are cut and crushed through the burrs, some stay in there longer than they should, and it gets smaller and smaller to the point where they become fines. Now, both conical and flat burrs produce fines, but it's a matter of which are more consistent and produce lesser fines. Generally, or what has been reported by users, which can be pretty subjective, flat burrs produce lesser fines, but this doesn't include burr geometry, which I'll talk about more in a bit. This begs the question, are fines a good thing? First, fines were said to attribute bitterness to the coffee. Fines can choke your coffee brew, leaving them muddy with a sharp and often over-extracted taste. So you should think that removing fines and a grind will result in a better cup, but it's not that simple. Matt Perger won the 2012 Provost Cup by removing the fines by sifting. Later, he found that great tasting grind from the EK43 has a lot of fines and then declared, fines are our friends. This graph by the Bitter Nectar from Instagram is based off of Lance Hedrick's video on the same topic. I think you will understand why the taste you get from the flat and conical burrs are very subjective from this graph. On one end, you have the chocolate, body, blended flavors, and on the other hand, you have clarity, tea-like bodies, florals, and aromatics. Typically, you would think a cone would lean on this side rather than the clarity side, but obviously that is not the case all the time. You have the Eureka Mignon Silenzio, a flat burr grinder leaning on the chocolatey side, while the ZP6, a conical burr grinder, leans more on the clarity side. What's generally known from this spectrum is that the fines will contribute to more body. Conical burrs typically produce slightly more fines, but you get better tactile experience, meaning your espresso will be heavier body and layered better complexity. If you want something bolder, like for a cup of joe, you can't go wrong with conical burrs. Flat burrs produce higher clarity in terms of cup quality, or at least that was what has been perceived by many coffee enthusiasts. They have more aromas and tea-like bodies, so if you want to push more on the modern espresso or a clear cup of filter coffee, you can consider getting a flat burr grinder. In general, flat burrs produce lesser fines, so you can chase flavor and clarity. Again, this doesn't include the burr geometry, and as shown in the graph, it is still pretty subjective. Then there's geometry, which is a whole other topic on its own. 
but let's take a look at the geometry of burrs, specifically for the flat burrs as they tend to be more popular these days. Some geometries on flat burrs focus on espresso, bimodal, filter, bimodal again, or both which is unimodal. So there are two types of bimodal. You have the espresso focused bimodal and the filter focused bimodal. The unimodal on the other hand is deemed as the jack of all trades, master of none. It can grind both espresso and filter. Looking at the price point, conical burr grinders tend to be cheaper than the flat ones because conical uses less torque to grind the beans which means it has a lower grinding speed. A conical burr features a lower powered motor which is more cost effective. Based on this theory, conical can last longer due to the design. If you look at the fellow Opus, Varia VS3, they are a lot cheaper than their flat counterparts. That is also why majority of the hand grinders feature conical burrs. Flat burrs tend to be more on the expensive than conical as it features a higher power motor which means it can also grind faster. Tend to be larger too with the design and all of these factors contribute to the higher price point. That is also why the only flat burr hand grinders, the Pietro and more recently the Cafe Sing Orca manual grinders don't exactly come cheap. Well, you might be wondering which burst you should go for. Only you can answer that question by knowing your own preference. If you feel like having a coffee with more body, more chocolatey taste, something that is more cow, then you would want grinders leaning on that side of the spectrum, such as the bimodal burst for espresso. Or you can just get the conical burr grinder like the fellow Opus, which is known to produce more fines for a heavier body. If you're into filter coffee, or you just prefer a cup with more clarity and aroma, can't go wrong with the bimodal burrs for filter. The fellow old Gen 2 is a very popular choice among baristas when it comes to filter coffee. And if you want to brew both, then the unimodal burrs are your best bet, such as the option O Lagom O1 with the Mizen burrs. Like I mentioned earlier, this topic is quite subjective and there needs to be more studies done on the differences between conical burrs and flat burrs and the quality of cup that they produce. Take everything that I said with a grain of salt and please do your own research to better understand about these burrs. I can recommend watching the King of Burrs Lance Hedrick's videos as they are very detailed. I hope this video has been helpful to you in making informed decisions when purchasing your next coffee grinders. We have an array selection of flat and conical burrs from electric to hand grinders even from low to high price points. You can also visit our showroom if you are still unclear about the burrs and our sales team will be more than happy to guide you through. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to share them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.